what's going on here oh 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 they oh my god oh my god where is he going <laughs> where is he going <laughs> what am i watching <laughs> hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of let's play the sims 3 into the future we are in the garage right now with miss bailey watching her do some bot building before we get into the episode i think we should recap the last one so in the last episode it was a beautiful lovely snowflake day we spent it with our friends with our family everyone gave each other gifts it was really sweet and ash's birthday also fell on snowflake day which was pretty cool and he is now an adult. He's having a midlife crisis right now. So he ca he keeps checking out his wrinkles in the mirror, which is funny because this is a interaction you only will get when a sim is going through a midlife crisis. Guys, it's the small details, okay? It's the exact same animation as when a sim like checks out their face, but they'll have kind of a negative reaction like he just did when they check out their wrinkles. The Sims 2 Generations is literally the king of small details. Like we can all agree on that, right? So before we get into the episode, I thought I would address some of the comments that I received from episodes prior. So Casey asks, what happened to the woman Ash liked? Now there have been two women that Ash has kind of fawned over. I'm not talking about Lola because she's kind of been in her household. So she's kind of easy to like track the progression of her and she's kind of also new. But uh, I don't know if you're talking about Jeanette. If you're talking about Jeanette, who by the way has the dreaded pigtails, I'm gonna quickly change her as we kind of talk about her. Jeanette uh, cheated on Ash, so we got rid of her. And she also tried to play off the baby she was having as Ash's when it was actually another guy's baby, which was really, really messed up. So that is what happened with Jeanette. I don't know if you're talking about her. This is the hair I decided on for Jeanette. Now, there is another woman too that you could potentially be referring to, and that would be Estella Olivia. Ash and Estella Olivia were never really Really serious as you can see they still are romantic interests so like nothing really happened with them um she also aged up to an elder and as you guys know i've talked about this on end ash has a wish to have his first child now obviously this wish can be fulfilled by adopting but i think ash would want to have genetic children and estelle olivia dislikes children she does have a son actually which is really interesting i think there's a lot there that could be explored had we been playing estelle olivia uh but for a sim who does not like children to be raising a child i think that that would be there probably a lot of associated trauma without you know kind of getting into the what that means for the poor child of estella olivia so that's my response to your question um nothing really happened with estella olivia and Jeanette obviously cheated on ash so those are what happened to the loves in ash's past bailey got abducted in the ending of the last episode so diego asked me what happened to the alien pregnant rule if you guys don't know i do have a gameplay rule when whenever a sim in my town gets abducted by an alien whether they are male or female i will roll a 1 through 100 if the number lands between 15 or below which represents a 15 percent chance of pregnancy then the sim will get pregnant i figured because this household is already super full and also this is the last generation we will ever play with this family we don't need to be having like our very last sims um like bailey whatever do the alien pregnancy role and also i just don't want to deal with more children so that's what happened to the alien pregnancy roll. That's why I didn't roll in the last episode. I just didn't want to. Plain and simple. I just didn't want to. And the last comment I wanted to bring up is by Linda. And Linda is talking about how much they want Noel and Emmett to get together. Which brings us to the subject of today's episode. In the couple minutes of the last episode, I teased that I really wanted to focus this episode's energy on getting Noel and Emmett together and not necessarily together together but I want to get Emmett in the game so I'm gonna wake up Noel now we are going to start to tackle that guys I looked up uh like resources on how to do this I couldn't get a clear-cut answer but what I assumed was the best way and Ross forums are suggesting do not just add Emmett to the household that is not a good idea because then it takes them away from being the time traveler in the portal which obviously I really like the idea of Emmett being the time traveler I just also want him to be like in the town so that we can play with him so to do this uh and ross recommends that we make a copy of emmet so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to click on him over here i'm gonna go to en ross master controller i'm gonna go advanced and i'm going to go edit and cast now we're not going to make any changes to him just because once again i'm a little bit hesitant to even take him into cast because the time traveler life state which is what emmet is is very very finicky so i'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm gonna go come on here to these silhouettes and I'm just gonna save him to my submit wait I don't need to actually take him in there I could just click on the three little dots and save him to my submit I don't know why I clicked on the library but now as you can see if I do click on the library uh, and then I go into show custom content only I can see that Emmett is actually in our simbin that is what we're gonna do with Emmett Lord now I'm going to cancel and exit i'm going to not even make any changes or anything to him and this is where it's going to get a little bit weird right so we have emmett saved in our sim bin right now but we also have emmett you know that is a time traveler that is linked to the time traveler life state but what i'm going to do now is i am actually going to go into edit town we're going to just continue and we are going to make a random sim we're going to make any random sim doesn't matter their name um it doesn't matter like who they are we can just randomly roll it so we have this sim here i'm gonna go down to the silhouettes and i'm gonna go to emmett and i'm just going to import emmett and overwrite him on this sim right here this random sim that got generated so here we go here is emmett we're gonna go and make sure that everything is filled out for him make sure that he has a uh, human life state because we don't want that pesky time travel life state and we're gonna go down to his personality now he doesn't have any lifetime wishes or anything and he has traits which is really weird i was not expecting him to have traits because i don't think time travel sims even need traits he's absent-minded brave genius kleptomaniac and lucky i don't know why he's a kleptomaniac i can't tell you but that could be really interesting for storytelling purposes i suppose now these are the pre-rolled lifetime wishes i don't know what kind of lifetime wish he would even go for i mean obviously it would probably be one to do with into the future if i just had to put a guess out there but i'm not going to be doing any into the future stuff with emmett so i think we should give him more of a lifetime wish that he can do here in the home world so maybe logic and athletic would be good for him because he is a genius and he like likes perfect minds i don't know he wants to have like a perfect mind i i, I don't know all right we're going to randomize his favorites i think he'd have blue because obviously his clothing is blue and he got rolled to have country music as his favorite music i'm gonna do digi tunes because that's the one that comes with into the future and i don't know if there's any foods actually that came with into the future i just realized that into the future did not add a single food did it i mean it might have in terms of like the food synthesizer machine how it can give you like food for plum balls or whatever i don't know um and then apparently he's a capricorn which i'm also a capricorn nice emmett so i'm gonna keep his clothes as is just because like this is this is his style like this is what he looks like but if i had to guess i don't know if any of his other outfits yet <laughs> oh my god what is this none of his other outfits are done also why did his hair like change color okay up. that's so weird his hair changed from like blue to black uh did his like hair dye wear off i'm gonna change his hair color back to blue i think what it might have been was perhaps the life state that he was assigned to the time travel life state always gets that blue hair and since i took that life state off of him it might have like glitched up I, of course this is not a identical color match to his uh blue hair he had before but we're just gonna say that that's like the closest i can get to it i don't know i don't want to sit here and like have to identically clone it also his eyebrows i didn't mean, we can't see his eyebrows because they were <laughs> behind glasses but they look so bad oh my gosh why are they like super arched like that i have better eyebrows i can give you emmett like much better eyebrows my boy okay we can give him some black eyebrows just because that is his like natural hair color i would think um blue is probably more than likely dyed unless he's like born with blue hair that's amazing he should go and be scientifically studied so just like i thought he did not get any other outfits like assigned to him so we're gonna kind of give him some cool clothing i feel like he would definitely have his own sense of style i mean have you seen his everyday outfit have you seen it because i have oh my gosh what are these shoes he's wearing he's wearing like flats <laughs> he's wearing flats i've never seen shoes like that before okay he also looks like super tall to me so i think i might give him a height slider if he doesn't already have one he probably doesn't already have one if i had to guess but he gives me like tall people vibes i don't know i don't know how to explain it i can't find my height slider i might have taken it out of my game just because i don't like give sims height a lot yeah i don't see sim height anywhere so i'll have to re-add the height slider in my game we can just not do that right now though all right let's go to his sleepwear and i'm gonna give him a little something something so i think when i move him into the town i am going to put him in his own place and i'm gonna put him in an enrol's cast so that enrol's does not touch him because i don't want enrol's to give him a romantic interest i'm also going to like play a song just so we can get that loud music out of my ear thank you game if i don't put him in an enros cast he will go ahead and get with other sims in town and obviously i don't want him to do that because 
Emmett is meant for Noel. That's the whole reason I'm doing this right now. He also needs body hair. Like, I just realized his legs are smooth. I can't. I can't. Why do his feet look so tiny? What is going on there? Um, I'm gonna so. give Emmett lots of body hair. He just gives me like very hairy sort of vibes. I'm gonna give him hairy legs. And I feel like Emmett should probably be an adult. Like, he just also gives me kind of grown up. Oh, here he is. Okay, perfect. Great. Love that. All right. And now we're gonna go into his swimwear and just give him a little something, something. I'm gonna give him like a chain when he is in his swimwear like that and we're gonna i don't know what these shorts are they're very futuristic I can definitely say that i'm gonna give him these swim trunks so these are like my go-to swim trunks they come with island paradise and they're amazing i love them all right last one at least we have emmett's outerwear here and i'm just gonna give him something blue because that is his favorite color something quick because outerwear actually does matter in this town because we will see it since we have like a never-ending snowfall here in aurora skies but spring is upon us actually in game like spring is coming very soon so anyway guys i hope you liked um emmett's makeover i might actually change up his hair i didn't even think about changing up his hair just because it's like that yay like maxis match sims 3 texture and it's not that cute i do have longer hair that i could give him maybe something like this that might be still too short for him maybe something like this i kind of like how the hair he had before oh this is very future oh i kind of like this one it's very futuristic um i also have this one which is pretty long i have this one that's like a wolf cut that's what noel has right now so maybe we don't want to give that to emmett i don't want them to have matching haircuts i also have this long hair I, i'm very limited on my long hair this is the hair noel had for a while this is the one ash currently has oh i like this one a lot we can give him this one this one's pretty long all right, i have decided on this hair for emmett so we're gonna go with that and here we have emmett so now we have emmett in town i'm gonna go ahead and just place him anywhere i don't think there's any available starter houses in the game right now so i might just throw him on like a blank lot and let him fend for himself yeah we'll do that <laughs> might be kind of mean but i'm sorry emmett okay and then oh we had a script error uh-oh i'm scared uh-oh i don't know if it like deleted okay i think we're okay i don't know why it's a script error i i changed his life state he should not have a time travel life state i'm gonna return back to our family now and i'm gonna click on emmett by the way i'm doing this like all off the cuff i don't know if this actually works i hope this works i'm gonna go enrol's master controller I'm going to make sure that he does not, does not, does not have that time travel life state. Yes, he doesn't. Okay, we're okay. He, it says false right there. Okay, so Emmett's in town now. We're going to turn off and our story progression for him so it doesn't affect him because I <laughs> I would literally cry if I put all this work forward and then he's like has romantic interest and that sort of thing. So I am going to allow partner cast and no, 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 no. What am I going to do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, how am I going to put him so he doesn't do romantic stuff? Um, you know what I can do? And this is really stupid, but <laughs> this is the only way I can think. So to make him so he can only interact with Noel, I'm going to put Noel in a cast and I am going to then go over to Noel. I'm going to put Noel in that Noel taylor cast that i just made this is really a roundabout way you have to do it but if you want to make it so that it can only do romantic interactions with Noel. This is literally how I have to do it. So I'm going to add a new cast, Noel Taylor. And I just realized I actually put Emmett in a cast just there. Um, That's embarrassing. I put Emmett in the Noel Taylor cast. Oops. We're going to go story progression, cast. I'm going to remove that Noel Taylor cast from Emmett. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sim options. I'm going to scroll down to allow partner cast. And we are literally going to have to go one by one and click all of these. False, 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 false. So now Emmett cannot have partners that are all right in any of these casts besides the Noel Taylor cast. I don't know why there's two of them. So there we go. So we, now we have only allowed Noel Taylor to do romantic stuff with Emmett. And last but not least, uh, the last thing we need to do is we need to come over here to Emmett and we need to make him our best friend because you have to remember, we are technically supposed to be best friends with him already. So we're gonna go over and find Noel in here. There we go. And we will make them best friends forever. Oh, and we also need to make Emmett gay, right? I forgot. I'm going to go gender preference. I'm going to do a million bajillion for male and a negative million bajillion for female. So there we go, guys. We now have set up Emmett. Hopefully Emmett's all good, doesn't glitch up. Here's the bad thing here. We are going to have two Emmets, okay? We're going to have two Emmets. It is going to also show in our uh, friendship panel that we have two Emmets. So what we just have to do right now, technically, for storyline's sake, we have to say, 
that these are the same emmet i mean we we just have to and they technically are according to their name and their traits and how they look and whatever i mean I, of course our emmet our in-world emmet has long hair and whatnot for storyline's sake these two emmets are the same okay guys so now we can actually have noel go over to emmet in our world our home world emmet and interact with him so i'm going to have noel head on over actually we should just invite emmet like out on like a date or something like that so we can go and invite out emmet um we can invite emmet over to bjorn cafe so that we can have a little breakfast a little early morning breakfast at a cute little cafe so noel is calling emmet on the phone right now and is going to ask him out and emmet says of course let's meet there so just to make sure that bjorn cafe is fully stocked i am going to come over here and by the way i do have enros cupcake in my game you guys can see enros cupcake does a fantastic job at filling up all of the racks that came with the deliciously indulgent bakery so that's really nice we will have some stuff to kind of snack on here i really want to do a series where i renovate all of these base world lots like mix master karaoke that comes with showtime just some other lots like porta party warehouse because none of these lots that came with showtime have those professional bars in them which i think is a really big missed opportunity so maybe i'll do like a series on my channel like a build series i'm not sure oh my god we have so many sims here wow oh my god what what why does emmett have the time traveler stuff here emmett should not have the time traveler stuff oh my god did i screw this up oh that's that's not good that's not good guys that is definitely not good okay so he may get deleted in this world oh no okay we have to act quick whatever i did did not work i am going to delete the time traveler live state from emmet okay i think i did it properly i think we're good now i don't think he's a time traveler anymore i'm scared that i screwed it up no okay we still have this emmet i'm glad i made a copy of emmet so i didn't like grab this one necessarily so he no longer has the time traveler live state i don't know why because we checked before and it said it was false i mean we all saw that right all right so we are going to go ahead and form a group with emmett 2.0 our emmett i wonder if people are like looking at him like dude why are you wearing this outfit <laughs> noel also wants to go bowling with friends unfortunately we don't have a bowling alley in town i should download the bowling alley like that is a huge missed opportunity maybe there is one in my sim bin that comes with university because that's what that was added with we can check and see here if there's any like pre-made community lots with university that are bowling alleys i would have to imagine that they probably added one in here okay so they just didn't there literally is just no pre-made bowling alley lot that was sad and also a huge miss, miss opportunity for ea to let us put one in our own town okay i'm sad now anyway focusing here on emmett we are just going to go over to emmett and hang out with him chat we're not going to consider his attractiveness because i don't want to be disappointed usually my sims will like not find each other attractive which i'm very sad about emmett's talking about his favorite color which is blue Noel's is orange i don't know what we should do should we ask emmett about his career he's gonna have a random career because i didn't give him one shit i should have added one to him i'm going to put him in the unemployed cast just so like we have him available at all hours oh what is this sorry i need to go soon i have to work i just put you in the unemployed cast but okay apparently it was a really good group outing i'm gonna form a group with him again and uh maybe we can just like spend the day with him i don't know you're unemployed emmett what are you saying you have to go to work soon you don't have me fooled buddy he said no because yeah okay whatever uh, uh, uh whatever we we at least met up at this cute little cafe lot so i guess i can't be too mad i'm gonna have noel go and buy a little snack over here i love how the sims are buying things off the shelf like that is amazing but i'm going to have noel go and purchase some big platter of cupcakes let's do that so noel's grabbing some cupcakes we got them in the case and then i'm just gonna have noel bring them back to their family river has been eternally faithful to martina that's so cute also i wanted to bring up guys i want to bring up to you river's lifespan here is getting pretty up there he is 89 days old if you don't know if you want to see my lifespan i always get questions about what my lifespan is my sims only live for 94 days guys so technically at a bare minimum he has five days more and he may have more i don't know we'll have to see how many days the game wants to give him and of course he's woohooing with martina wow i i, I just i go off them for a second and they're woohooing by themselves that's great earlier before i started recording ash had a wish to get a makeover because of his lifetime crisis so i'm gonna take him into stylist here and 
we're gonna quickly give him a little bit of a makeover just his everyday attire and his hair i love ash with long hair i think it looks so good so maybe i will keep that but yeah he definitely needs to get rid of this ea hair this hair comes with university and it's not doing anything for me i'm not gonna lie to you guys and voila this is what i decided to go ahead and give ash i changed up his hair and his facial hair he had that chin strap for a long time uh the facial hair and i don't know i just i wasn't feeling it anymore so i gave him some scruff with a little goatee so that's his new look he looks a lot more scrawny in this hoodie like i thought he was a little bit more built especially because you know he is a firefighter after all he has to be kind of built to an extent and i did take him to the gym i played like a day and a half off camera maybe like half a day actually he got toned from the gym which he got that little move that says toned so that means that he got built a little bit i guess oh i forgot to change his outerwear uh oh oopsie so let me change his outerwear very quickly i don't even remember what i gave him i think it's the same outfit did i like copy the same outfit to his outerwear i think i must have <laughs> i'm gonna give him a coat just so like he doesn't freeze to death i don't want i don't want him to freeze we'll give him this little world adventure sweater because it's very cute i love this sweater i wish i had taken him into edit and cast so i could see what his favorite color was because i would have like incorporated it throughout his outfits but i was feeling taking him into silas today so that's that's what i ended up doing Alrighty, so he's gonna go and entertain some sick kids i don't know why did it change his hair to black um hello this outfit okay his, it's just his portrait that says that his hair is okay they're woohooing over here nice love that they're like super old uh, and they're still uh, woohooing okay more more power to you guys ash is actually disgusted by this spoiled cake i forgot we got that and also speaking of food and inventories let's go get some of these cupcakes out noel graciously stopped by the bakery and bought you guys some cupcakes so let's go and um grab a plate everybody come on gather around i'm also gonna get rid of this nasty cake in ash's inventory listen lola it was a really nice gesture and we really appreciate it it's just it's just it's a dirty cake now it's not good anymore okay he has to make a snowman wow river was coming over to lola to ask her to make a snowman that is a step in the right direction love to see it i'm so proud of you river river has really came around to the idea of lola oh okay he just threw my cupcakes in the in the fridge love that thank you for that maid i'm also gonna change it to let's listen to latin music i like the latin music in the game also dalton's birthday is very soon so we still need to teach him how to be potty trained so i'm gonna have river come over and pick up dalton and we're gonna try and see how much i can get with river and dalton because dalton is going to probably not grow up with a father i'm sorry to say but river is very very old and he will probably be maybe into his late childhood when his father passes away i don't want to like talk about it and i'm getting a little emotional over it but yeah that's i mean i'm sorry to say guys but martina and river they wanted to have children super late into their adulthood so that's what happened there anyway ash is getting kind of hungry i think that maybe we should have him ask somebody that he's been interested in for a while out we have a lot of beautiful sims in this town like there are so many of them Ooh, this is his co-worker faith brady she looks very cute she has also six no that's five traits i can't count i'm sorry <laughs> also uh callie back at home is saying boogers are salty thanks for that info cal i really appreciate it it's gonna bother me that ash's portrait is has black hair oh okay now it got wait no it was just the shading Did you guys see it turned black for just a moment there so strange anyway we're going to send ash out on the town this is one of his only days off oh P dalton got potty trained i almost called him palton <laughs> palton got potty trained um there's an amateur olympics going on right now which is interesting okay also lola just called her house a dump this place is such a dump it's making me want to leave all right loba then go and leave i feel like maybe we should have ash like go over to the fire station just to check everything out and we can see like who's there i don't know i don't know maybe some will be there maybe they won't i'm not sure we'll have to check it out also in this episode i did want bailey to build the sense of humor trait chip but if i am correct she needs one of those emotional little thingies i, I don't know what it's called guys i have no idea we're gonna check it out here and i'll tell you what it's called it's one of these things that noel had that we picked up out in the desert these right here Chris flowers i was wondering what these were used for when we originally picked them up with noel like so long ago 
and they are used for making um trait chips with the plum bods which i think by the way the one that bailey needs i think is right here this is the one that bailey needs so i'm just gonna drag it from Noel's inventory to bailey it's the crystal flower emotional charge kindness and i think that's the one that bailey needs in order to make this trait chip that she wanted to make ash is also over at the fire station apparently eating some cereal um so let's check it check it out here so we have sense of humor and oh i was wrong we need the laughter charged crystal so maybe we can quickly pop into the future we are currently in the normal regular smegular future we're not in the utopia we're not in the dystopian so i'm gonna have bailey go ahead and we're gonna travel out into the future should we have noel just go with bailey does noel have anything that they want to do they do they have like a ton of things that they want to do oh Noel also wants to buy a plum bot also i really wanted to check out that statue that we got in the last episode in the very last couple minutes we actually got the uh time traveler statue in legacy park so that's gonna be exciting we haven't checked that out yet so we're gonna take both noel and bailey into the portal here and i will see all you guys into the future i just loaded us into the future and we got forty-two thousand simoleons i don't i don't know why did i just get forty-two thousand simoleons i'm i'm kind of confused apparently suzette taylor died i'm so sorry bailey that was your descendant and we also have noel what is what what is that why did noel just got stuck coming out of the portal oh my god that is so unfortunate i'm so sorry noel what's going on here oh 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 they just, oh my god oh my god where is he going <laughs> where is he going <laughs> what am i watching <laughs> noel got stuck in the animation going out of the portal oh my god i couldn't <laughs> Oh, that was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. What is this sign autograph? Oh, is it because we have the legacy statue? People want our autograph? That is so cool. Okay, so first and foremost, the first thing I want to do here in the future, we haven't been here since we got uh, the time traveler statue, which by the way, we just got this remote control, time remote control. I don't know what that does. That's so bizarre, but we'll have to check that out. I don't think we can use it here in the future. I think we have to use it in the present. So we'll check that out when we get back. But I didn't want to have Noel go over and check out. Sorry, it's, oh wait, no, it's called, wait, there's Reflective Park and Legacy Park. We're going to go over to Legacy Park here and we're going to have Noel fly on over. I really want to see, oh, what is this? Oh, is this Noel? <gasps> wait, is that Noel? Oh my gosh, the statue is so cute look at them i love it they did such a good job capturing their likeness like so cute i love it okay so that is for the philanthropist i do believe the renowned philanthropist noel taylor so we have noel there over here this one's not noel this is the trendsetter colin frazier i think maybe we should have bailey do the trendsetter one because bailey's very fashionable as you can tell but look at this guys look at this we have the timekeeper noel taylor oh yeah Yes, so Noel did end up replacing Emmett, which I think there could be a little bit of beef there, but maybe, you know, maybe it was Emmett's time. Emmett didn't want to be timekeeper anymore, and we got, you know, Noel. Noel replaced Emmett, so Noel's gonna come over here and check out their statue. Noel's like, yes, I did that. Nice job, Noel. I'm proud of you. Over here, we have some other Sims. Pioneer of Plumbotics. I assume Bailey will be there one day, and we have the illustrious entertainer, Grace Barger. So, so we're definitely gonna have to fill up this legacy park with our own family i'm just like super happy and i'm so excited noel already has two of these statues and how many more to come i don't know as you guys can see up here in the right corner we're getting a lot of air traps and stuff like that i don't know why but we're gonna go ahead and have noel visit their relatives so we still do have the wong family the wong family has been our relatives for so long jamie though jamie was like a teen i'm pretty sure we were last year so jamie has aged up to an elder and i guess he has had some children of his own but we were like we were best oh no I'm sorry jamie wait there's two why is there two jamies what i think there's a jamie senior and a jamie jr that might be like an unfortunate naming thing by the game i'm not sure if it was intentional that there was supposed to be like jamie senior jamie jr i don't know anyway we're gonna have noel fly on back home here noel is currently watching a raccoon so let's not do that why can i not fly here what's going on we not have our backpack on stop using uh fly to residential lot and we'll fly back home to our base camp it's also like wait i can't fly back to base camp um uh, maybe fly to community lot is it coded as a community lot oh it is coded as community lot okay that's weird anyways so noel is flying on back to base camp now and now we're gonna go over to bailey so bailey also has some new relatives i'm pretty sure holy wow she has so 
many relatives where do you guys live oh becky oh wait becky looks a lot like bailey well obviously she's like our descendant so where do you guys live where do our descendants even live in this town i don't know do they live like out in the no man's land out here or where are they living i want to see so i'm pretty sure if i go over here to the almanac of time and then down in descendants it will show us select to view descendant household that didn't work what <laughs> that didn't work what what's going on here i'm just gonna right click on their portrait oh they live over here over in like this kind of uh house we lived oh wait we lived over here before or at least noel's descendants those two guys that were married a long time ago in like the beginning of this lp when we were checking out our descendants so they live over here in this house i love to see like what they look like and they look a lot like bailey i mean obviously they're they're related to bailey so they're gonna look like bailey bailey's over here chilling with emmett now i really wanted bailey to get the trendsetter statue so what we need to do this is probably the, one of the easier ones how to achieve the statue set up a clothing pedestal in present day then have four sims use a clothing pedestal to change their outfit while in present day this is like one of the easiest ones i've seen <laughs> so we can definitely do this we have to be in present day though but since we're here in the present and oh i want to bailey to grab a jetpack as well because first of all it raises her advanced technology skill into it's just the superior way of getting around like it's basically a free teleportation so let's see if we can find a jetpack over here if not we can just buy one i mean obviously we have so much money oh and it took away the money that it gave us when i teleported us into the future um i don't know why but we got like a free 42k that was so bizarre but i'm glad it took it away because i mean money is not an issue this late into this lp so i'm um, i shouldn't be surprised okay for some reason i can't find a jetpack i've been like looking around everywhere and i cannot find a jetpack pack oh here's one for poor bailey oh oh let's get this one so we're gonna come up here we're gonna go and grab that jetpack i don't know if there's like a closer one anywhere probably not i mean there's just one up here but we can just grab the one that's on the roof noel's also sleeping in the dream pod which they had a wish to dream about a different personality so we can have noel go ahead and do that wait can i click on them dream oh i have to like set it up in its own queue that's weird okay um dream about different personality we'll do that oh 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 my god Oh my god, oh my god, Noel just completed their lifetime wish. What? No way! Noel just became the master of advanced technology? Um, hello? I can't believe this. What? Oh my gosh, oh my god, this music is so loud. Oh, that gave me a jump scare. How did we do that? Okay, so Noel definitely has level 10 in advanced technology. Noel's knowledge of advanced technology has granted them reset time continuing from the time portal and additional dreams in the dream pod. But what's weird is it says own a wind carver, dream pod, food synthesizer, hollow disc, and jetpack. We definitely don't own all. Okay, Emma, just make yourself cozy. Nice to see that Emmett is still making himself cozy um, next to Noel. I mean, do we? Are, should we be surprised? I love when Sims dream there's like this mist over here i guess it's when they sleep in the dream pod the dream pod is a really really cool item you can influence noel's dream here become polar explorer hang out at bowling alleys root for visiting team and swallow bubble gum let's let's dream about so oh so sorry was that not a good dream for you guys i apologize well i didn't know that that would do that <laughs> bailey's also up here i can have her maybe dream about being oh being prom queen going on a date skipping school or being valid victorian that's so cute well she's already prom queen in the present day so we have to dream about being valid Victorian. So we'll do that there. I do think that this raises her advanced technology skill, which is why Noel completed their lifetime wish. I cannot believe that. But one sad thing, I don't think we own a wind carver dream pod, food synthesizer, and a hollow disc uh, and a jetpack. I mean, I know we own some of those, but we definitely do not own all of those. So that might be a glitched up lifetime wish. I don't know, but we did it, guys. We've reached level 10 in advanced technology. I cannot believe it. Anyways, guys, I hope you did all enjoy this episode. I am running out of time, so I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.